Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And as you can see, I am finally back at the lab. Uh, what you don't see is the problems I've been having with this train. Uh, I'm actually returning from an autosave, because after I unloaded the last container, I went, went over there, I was getting the printer set up going, I went to the next printer, the game froze and crashed. Because this thing decided to do its little magical trick that it did on me back at the uh up in the north there uh yes i did do some do a whole bunch of scanning but way up here at the xanite mine where i built the sphinx uh i was swapping the containers out and i went uh, about 100 meters away from the last part of the train that got a little too close and then it twisted and then i got a little closer and the game crashed so what i need to do uh i am gonna do have plans on setting up another transport system. I'm going to go with a freighter instead of this train and try to get, and I've been thinking about a sort of a conveyor system I can set up to, to move the containers around. But what I need to do is I need to do what I should, that should do. And let's get rid of these. I actually did put a terminal on here and I tried locking these and this is actually a save from a locked position and it still causing me problems so we're letting it be free uh, I've been thinking about different projects I can do um, with the the option of having the joints locked like that where it gives me the freedom to to build different structures um, one of the things we're gonna do today is we're gonna make the first attempt at a you know, just a simple little transformer. It's not going to be anything major yet. Uh, I'm waiting for key bindings for that to happen. Uh, let's see if we can back this up and load up the gold. i got to clean out those containers too. And funny, ever since I took those out, the lag is a lot less. You know, those hinges, I love them, but they hate me. Uh, a few other things I want to do too. Like, uh, still thinking of a couple of games we can... Uh, try to get going but it is getting dark so I'm gonna load this get this container in place get the printers queued up and I'll bring you back when we're ready to start doing some building so I thought I'd have a little bit of fun with the build vision here uh, what it is I just put a spinner there with eight switchboards on it colored the switchboards up there and just got to spin and so I does this cool little effect of I was thinking about doing little things when I first laid out the colors like that. It's like okay, we could do some some cool things. It's still laggy around here. That might have something to do with it. Uh, I had it turned off, and I'm like, why is it still going? The power's turned off, and then I forgot about the the whole perpetual motion thing. But anyways, let's uh, turn that lagginess off and start building. So. Now, this is going to be a relatively small build, so I think I might just uh, sort of build with you so you get an idea of what's that, sort of what goes through my head when I'm trying to think of how I'm going to do things. Now, this is going to be just a, a simple transformer. It's sort of like one of those old pop-up ones where uh, the front of the, we'll call it a car, lifts up. And as it lifts up, it sort of pushes back, pushing the arms out. So the arms are going to be on, we're going to put them on rot rotating plates. I do not trust the hinges. Yes, I'm looking at you. But you're going to be one piece soon enough. And, uh, yeah, the only thing I'm going to have issues with is counterweight, just like the trebuchet there. Uh, what I'm going to do is, well, let's go ahead and build this. Now, I've been thinking about weight for this. I might go with the uranium generator just because we'll need some weight and we'll need some power I do have tons of uranium and rods from the gold and titanium mine so we got plenty of that uh, we got countless deuterium but that's kind of light unless I go with this but even then this is pretty big and uh, uranium generator it not only fits in with the cockpit itself but it uh, uh, place in here and it's got enough power to power the wheels so uh let me take a quick nap it's actually gonna get day so i'll bring you back in the morning okay so 
Uh, I am going to start with my jack. I never use the actual jack. I always use one of these posts. And of course we're going to make this whole thing red just because red goes faster, right? And I think I'm going to start with the generator. And uh, where is it? Which bar was I using? There we go. Okay, so I need to sort of build off of there because that's basically what the whole foundation is going to be about and then build off from here um, I'm not going to worry about using conveyors because they are actually heavier than red, regular blocks now my hinging mechanism because I have to make sure I can actually uh, box it in afterwards to actually get the old hover mode going and go and start building it out and I, I'm trying to figure out where my my final connection point is going to be because that's something I have to worry about is because I have to be able to box it in afterwards so oh, there's an autosave just in time for recording as always and I do want to keep the weight far back too so let's just bring it up to here uh, hmm. now how high do I want it to go let's make it let's actually make it off center and go from here. We actually gotta put some spaces out for the wheels. It's probably gonna have, I think, six. I'm gonna need at least four on the back to support the weight of the generator and support it, the weight of the thing lifting up. And hopefully have enough power to actually move the thing. So we'll go, not there. Come on. Focus. Uh, we will go here. Come out, and then go up three, I think. I'm wondering if maybe I should have it a little more because I have my hinge here. And I have another block here, but then I still have to box it in. That should be okay. Uh, I think I know how I'm going to do it too. So let's go ahead and get the rotor on. And I like how everything locks in place. So that one's going to be the first one. Hold on. I am actually doing this wrong. I need this on angle. So this has to actually come out. Probably four. Yeah. No. Oh. Rotating plate here. Another block. Yeah, and then I'll join up on this side here. Hold on, I'm thinking. And it hurts big time. Uh, give me a second. No, this is right. I'll box it in at the end. Uh, where's that going to be? I want to. One, two, three. Let's go one more out. Just to give it a little bit of, little bit of room. We're going to be probably pushing the physics to a limit on this one. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. And this is why I like the joint locking. Because normally I would have to put something underneath it and make sure I'm actually putting right on the block. Let's go a few more blocks. And am I doing this right? Yeah, I'm doing this right. I was getting a little confused because I got a... Uh, when I did the... the What's it called? Fixed beam scale or linked beam scale or whatever. Uh, I had them straight, but in this case, because I want to make sure I have room for it to move around and stuff like that, I'm going to have it Instead so of these going straight, they're going to be going up in a 45. So I have to make sure that these match. And I was trying to think, like, if I'm going to have the cockpit here, it's going to be kind of odd having this going this way. But if this one's going this way, then this one has to be going the same. So anyways, let's go. Let's actually leave it there. I think that should be good. 
So I'll go ahead and put another one of those and go here. And then this is what I was talking about because I think. No, let's put it on the top. So that's one. Oop, that's not going to go there. And that's two and three. So now we go on the other side here. Put another rotating plate. Another block. Uh, oh, by the way, when I started first started building that thing, you can see that rotating plate right over there. Uh, I had about a two second delay when I placed that. I thought it was an auto save, and it was not an auto save. So building on this thing is not an option anymore. Not until the new Unity comes out. So anyway, let's copy this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think that's right. Hang on, I get my finger out here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yes, 11. Okay, and there we go. 1, 2, 3, 4. I said 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11. Now we don't have to worry about this because these aren't actually going to be moving. These arms are going to be going up, but this whole thing is going to stay fixed. So now this is where the whole boxing part comes in. This actually works out perfect because I've got this area here. And this can help out if anybody wants to try to do something like this for themselves. Uh, just keep in mind you don't want to have too much weight on these things or too many things attached to them because they say the physics engines is still is still running so I, I placed that one there and then I started building from here and doesn't really matter where this goes so it lifted up that's good that's what I wanted to see so now I gotta try to actually build this in Let's actually let's finish up the block so we can see the seam lines because that's how you can tell if it's boxed in or not. Yeah, it's dark, so let me get the foot. All right, so I don't know if you can see it, but there's a seam here. And there's a seam here, and the texture doesn't line up, so you can tell that's actually not connected. Now, what I'm wondering is if that's going to connect to this block or this block, and that's exactly what I wanted. So if I do the same up top here and like so hopefully that's going to be all separate good so now when this thing lifts up this isn't going to go anywhere it's actually a completely boxed in joint i could probably get away with using slopes on that side that's no problem i might want to put a little bit of counterweight over here uh, just to counterbalance it but now if i stick a cockpit on the end of this thing and an air blade then when the air blade lifts up, it should lift this entire thing right up. But everything has to be attached to this piece here. Because this piece is going to stay perfectly vertical while this is actually going to go up on an angle. Uh, let's change my battery. Take the flashlight off so since I don't have to actually show the seam lines anymore. Now, I've been wanting to try to get into some more, like more complex things with stuff like this like something as simple as this is like how umbrellas work and uh, you know even getting like sunroofs for your bases where you just hit a, a switch uh, switch on a wall and hover, hover pad engages and actually lifts this arm up with a couple other sections set up like this and it actually creates like a folding mechanism you know you should look around at like little things and just see how they're set up and you can almost get different things and this is like i said before stuff like this is was is still my whole theory on getting like a proper walking mech going so it's going to be somewhat in the middle now i have to make sure i'm going to actually clear of that rotating plate so we'll finish that up and we'll throw a cockpit on here and i'm actually surprised i have all the resources Let's actually put this one up a little higher. Yeah, it's because it's... 
You always want to make sure that you have clearance between these blocks because they will clip. So now we go back to the cockpit, which was seven. Like so. Okay. Now, under here, we place a block. It has to be there. Now we want an air blade. Air blade's perfect too because it's the same width as the cockpit. And then this is going to be the way it's going to be basically. Is this going to be. Yeah, this should work. So if I might have four wheels in the back and two in the front. If this is down on the ground, uh, this being level should keep this from basically collapsing under itself. We'll see. Maybe we go two. And then. It's getting dark again. So when this goes up, there's actually going to be. I got to figure out where I'm going to place them. I'm going to have to come off of here where the arms are going to be. So let's actually get those in place. And we might actually take this for a test lift and see how well it works. Just because. And that should be symmetrical, yes. Hold on, is that going to work? No, they would have to be on here somewhere. Hmm. I think I'm going to make it work. I might have to have something coming off of here. Or even off on the top. Yeah. So when it stands up, the side panels or doors or whatever come folding out like arms. Usually I have this stuff planned out, but I'm sort of just winging it. Why not? It's not often you actually see how I figure these things out. Usually. Usually I spend most of my work day just thinking about stuff like this so so I don't have to think about what I'm dealing with at work every day and believe me, some days is an absolute nightmare. But then I come here some days and escape from my own world, do what I want, build what I want, break the game a few times, why not? Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Okay, don't hit the wrong block. Should be auto saving, but we got rid of that double block removal, which is good. So now here, since we got to come out this way, we got to have rotating blocks here, like so, and so. And this is probably going to be a fairly long episode. Uh, I'm sure you already know that, but what I'll do is, uh, oh, we're almost, almost done here, just getting the basic mechanics. So now what's going to happen is, so when the air blade goes up, the cockpit is going to stay straight. I'm going to be putting slope blocks and maybe even corner angle or something, so when it comes up, that it pushes another angle on a block coming off the side here. I'm basically pushing it out like uh, like a wing door, sort of. Let's see if we can do do something here without too much lag. Yeah, so when it comes up, then I would have like a like a number eight if I can get the right angle. Something like that. So when it lifts up, it actually pushes this out of the way. And I might actually have to replace this with a number. Should I use this one or this one? Let's go with this one. I think I think this one should work. We only need one cockpit. Now 
Now where is that going? Perfect. Just like that. So in that way, it's got nothing to really to bind on. Right, so when it goes up, it pushes here. That put gets pushed out of the way. And then pushes onto this one down here. So this one should be a slope as well. And that would be the number eight. And... That's an autosave. <laughs> So you get the idea, I might actually replace this one too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get both these sides finished and bring back the, the sunlight, and then we'll finish her up. All right, so I've got the other wing on here. Um, I was working on the front a little bit. I'm wondering if one air blade is going to be enough. I might have to extend it. What I'll do is before we actually uh, unplant to unlock all the hinges, I'm going to do a backup save like I always do. And we'll make sure that it goes. But uh, what I want to do is actually start building off of here. Originally I was going to come off of here and then I realized, oh wait, this is going to be part of it. So if we do this, just in time for an autosave, of course, it's always the case. But go like this. I will have to leave a gap just because the blocks have a habit of clipping. So then what we'll do is I'll go under here and we'll probably, probably change the color up a little bit. And maybe what I'll do is I'll put a solar beacon in here and give it some some light I'm just using these because it's lighter what do you mean I'm out of parts that's bull that's good thing I got a train full of them right over here and I just grab a couple of stacks and we'll head back over and go from there but it's almost done as long as you leave enough room for everything wow this sliding is so bad I can't wait for the new unity do I not have any plates and frames in here? Oh, there they are. And we'll grab some frames over here and head back. Uh, oh yeah, we should be seeing that soon. I can't wait for that. I'm gonna push the limits on that for sure. And give it the ultimate test. Turn that light off. Okay, I was over here. All right, so let me go like that. And like so, we'll probably just go with a regular block here. And where's that gonna line up? Oh yes, 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 that's right. Uh, I can't be building too far out here because I have to have room for this to lift up and get out of the way of whatever I have in the back here. So let's go ahead and finish this. Now that's basically all set. Uh, I might throw a terminal on here just to unlock everything. It might be a little easier. Still wondering about this. Uh, as far as the wheels go, uh, I set up a couple of bars in the back here. And where are my wheels? My suspensions are here. One there and one there. Let's actually go with black on that. Thank you. And I can almost guarantee I don't have fabric. I mean, that's not a f wheel. That's a wheel. I knew it. I knew it. Got tons of fabric in here. I actually need a lot of fabric. Am I seriously out of power? Wow. Uh, give me a, let's actually go head off to the refinery, see how much fuel we have in that. That's what I get for not keeping up on my duties, so I forgot to check the printers. So I actually ran out of fuel because the whole, the whole lab's running off of deuterium. I love that glow that shows up when you get here. Alright. And this thing is going to be jam-packed full of deuterium. That's it. I thought it would be more than that. Let's actually grab two stacks. What's going on here? That's still going. That's still going. Anyway, and back we go. So I'm wondering, like I've talked talked about this in the previous episode about 
trying to see what it would take to actually get this base lifted off the ground. What are your guesses on how many large air blades you'll take to get this thing actually off the ground? I will personally dig it up, attach as many air blades as I think I need to it. I think it's around... Not including the containers, I think it's around 800,000 in weight. Uh, what was I doing here? Oh yeah, wheels. Wheels. Uh, I don't think this is going to be enough. Oh, I went for fabrics. I went for fuel. That's what happened. We ran out of power. Even with all these battery banks. That's what I get for not keeping solar panels on. And it is lit up. We have enough for 26 hours. I probably should get these things up and running. Let's do that. Alright. So you do... Uh, oh, yeah. Let's... Nine, 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 unlimited, and you do the same. And... Craft. I could, could make uh, uranium, but I don't actually have a uranium generator set up. And, of course, I forgot the fabrics. I should be trying to use the Wi-Fi a little bit better, more item dispensers are called uh fabrics 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 you were in here no you weren't you were in here there you go and let's head back all right see what i'm hoping let's actually see what the center of mass is on this thing here so it's a little further back which isn't bad, but I'm a little worried about this. I'm wondering if maybe I should get a third set of wheels on. These are as close as they'll get. Yet. Hmm. I think that's what we gotta do. So, get rid of that. Add a few more, and I made a red block. Let's. Or a black block. Let's make it red again. And things just got really laggy all of a sudden for me. Don't know why. Uh, is that actually going to fit? No, it's not. No, that is not a good thing. So we're going to have to move these back. Oh, I know why I'm lagging. It's because I'm recording. Uh, recording at this 1080p, my file size is get awfully big. All right. Even though I got so much lag around here, it doesn't really matter. Is that spaced right? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes. All right. Finish those up. Let's actually finish the blocks. On the other side. Oh yeah, I'm lagging severely. So I am gonna do a quick cut here and see if I get this lag on. I knew what it was. I should have figured it out. It was the build vision. It's always the build vision. Especially in my world. Okay. You know, I was just thinking about it too. If I decide to make another tank, and I want those black, not red. If I decide to make another tank, I can have all the power wires, the hover pads, at, uh, all in red. So I can actually make it look like it's lit up. Even though I. Try not to use build vision, so let's see where that center mass is. So that's there, so that's okay. I think it'll be fine. Uh, maybe I'll even set up the front wheel here with the uh, two in the front for steering. So at least maybe when it's upright, we can actually drive it around. So let me get the other side finished up and I'll bring you back. Okay, there's six wheels in the back. Actually, I forgot to set the suspension on these. Um, 
probably going to keep the suspension high on the front too and then low in the back so in that way if it's going to it wants to give this way to try to keep that front end upright a little bit so do the same thing here these two will be high suspension and yeah that uh, should work because we got 3,000 pounds sitting there now for the front now as I said I don't know if it's going to be one or three or two air blades uh, let's see where is that air blade so this is all going to be one structure or I'll call it one structure but one piece so this is all going to move together so I can have the wheels actually recessed in there like I want to and let's actually do that so no not there I also want to keep the front end light as possible I'm just trying to think where I want these wheels let's actually put them right where the air blade is why not so place that there and get that out of my face thank you now for a suspension actually let's finish up those blocks And now for a suspension, like so, and a wheel, which should have clearance all around, yes, and yes. So we go ahead and finish these up. And if it comes down to it where I need another air blade in the front, I can, I can always add a second set of wheels. If it comes down to it, I can move this one back one. And go from there so this is basically it so I'm gonna save you some watching time and I'm gonna finish up the front and sort of fill it in a little bit and then we'll take it for a spin okay well there it is I guess I tried to color it up a little bit I tried to give it a little bit of a face maybe with the uh, lights for eyes uh, we're gonna try with one air blade and two wheels in the front uh, without build vision uh, what I've done is I've got normal steering in the front and opposite steering in the back so it's gonna have opposite steering in the back but when it's upright uh, it should actually be able to drive and steer uh, I have been paying attention to my weights and I have a bit of a concern because I got 22 2250 plus another 2000 plus that it's about 5000 versus the 6,000 almost almost seven so we might I might end up having to put a ceiling tile on here add an extra 600 pounds to it and maybe we'll do that or we're gonna throw some more blocks on we'll actually do that just in case you know last thing I want is this thing to lift up and have it tip down the ground do the old, um, uh, what are those things called? They were little desktop things. It was like a, a, a water crane or something like that. You put it on the side of a cup and it would dip down, make it look like it was taking a drink, and then it would bob back up. And I think it had something to do with uh, just displacement of fluid inside the tubes with temperature changes. Sorry, deal. I think I know what you're talking. I think you know what I'm talking about. All right, I have done my auto save. I do have. I do have got to stop playing with the build vision because it's annoying. I do need to get some uranium, which should be. I believe it was titanium. Wait for that leg. Oh yeah, that's a good leg. So I should have some rods in here. There we go. Courtesy of the refinery. Or the titanium mine. Alright, so before I fuel this up, I'm going to actually manually disconnect all these rotating plates. Or unlock them, I should say. So that one is free. Uh, that one is free. Uh, we have movement. It's a good kind of movement too. Now let's see if I can get this one from here. Uh, 
So far, so good. I'm kind of worried about this pot here. Because there's going to be a little bit of play. Can I reach that from here? And she is down. Just one more. And there we go. So now... I have one weird ass vehicle. But now... Wait for it. And what happened there? Ah, this is where it stops coming handy. Hang on. And that's why we have backup saves. So we can go back and do our thing. And I always do the manual backup save just because every once in a while the auto save likes to overtake and you lose progress. So what I meant by stops is I need something so... Oh, yeah, this is going to be on the top. That's right. So basically what I need is something so when the weight of this pushes down that this doesn't come up. And the way we do that... Just taking the chance standing on here. Actually, this is still locked, so I don't have to even have to worry about that. Uh, oh, that's the wrong hot bar. Uh, that's the hot bar. We're not in the desert anymore. So we'll do that, and yeah, do that, and, that. and then we'll throw a conveyor on the end. I like to use the conveyors, because they won't actually touch. I'm not sure what I mean by uh, number six here. Number six will not snap on the side, but it will snap on the ends. So in my theory, my theory is if I put a conveyor here, there's no way it can stick to this. It'll only stick to the block. So, yes, this is all going to be black. Alright, so that is done. Oh, yeah, we got to throw the extra weight in the back. So, let me think here. So, yes, that should stop the collapse. We got to go throw the more the extra blocks in the back here. <laughs> Wrong hot bar. Let me do this. Okay, let's try this again. So first we unlock you, and then we unlock you. I love how it just starts swinging automatically like that. Okay. So let's see what happens this time. And then e, come on. Oh, helps if I hit the right button. Do you? And you? And that's okay, because this is still up in the air. And I goofed, did I not? Yes, I did, because this can't actually lift up now. Revert. Okay, I had the right idea, just in the wrong spot. I want to do that over here. And despite the fact that it's going to make this somewhat ugly, you got to do what you got to do. No, I can't place anything there, so let's do conveyors. Why not? In fact, this I had a little bit of decoration too, because we can, can sort of count this as like a running light or something. Let's make this a nice yellow, why not? Actually that should stay red. Okay, so now, when this drops down, that's going to prevent this from going any lower than this. And I'm going to do another save here, just in case something else needs to be fixed. So, let's try it again. That one free, that one free. Okay, this one should be unobstructed. Okay, now... This is where it dropped last time. Ooh, looking better. Looking better. Where are you? No, it shouldn't actually drop down. I said it shouldn't actually drop down, but you can see how that thing is tweaking now. 
And I probably should block that off. Uh, like so. Now, I don't know if you can actually see it twitching like that. That's letting me know that that's actually attached to that block that's not connected to the rest of it. So it's actually blo blocked in now, so it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, and I will do another auto save. And by auto, I mean manual. Now, the question is what's going to happen? First, let's get the flashlight off. Hit the right button too so I can access the menu. Unlock you. Unlock you. Unlock you. And. You. And then you. You didn't move this time. That's what I wanted. You saw that bounce. Let's let you know that. Let me know that that bar up there is actually holding it. All right, now for the moment of truth. One is it actually gonna stand? Nice. All right. First, let's see if we can actually drive it. So I put the switchboard here for the ear blade. Okay, it is turned off. That is good. I got some fuel on me. Let's go ahead and drop that in there. And now let's see if we can actually drive. Okay, I gotta change the steering. Okay, steering the front's gotta change. Uh, oh, that build vision's terrible. Alright. No, I want steering in the back. Which is weird. No, 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 I want in there. I don't want to configure anything. So what's going on with my wheels here? Besides the fact that it's going the wrong direction. What did I do wrong here? Oh, come on. I wonder if that actually has to do with uh, the way the steering direction works. Oh, it does. So I had on the right way. This. All right, now I'll just change that back over like so. Do that in the front. Go for another quick drive. Go wing flaps flapping around. All right, now for like the moment of truth. Now I will have to do this manually at first. So I need to get out of here. Go ahead and I might have to put this somewhere else. Turn the air blade on. So now I actually use the hover up to try to lift up the front, and it doesn't want to see what's going on underneath. I think it's just too heavy. Everything should work. Well, I guess we're going to have to add another hair blade, aren't we? So, like I always do. I step it up a notch. I was going to put one on there, but I said, well, the hell with it. Let's go put two more on there and make it work. So it's all done. Uh, that's a little off kilter because I was starting to uh, uh, free everything up before I before I did this. But now it's done. We have that stopper in the way. We have that locked in place. We do have fuel on me. So let's do this. One final time. A good thing that was a left click and not a right click. That could have been uh, very bad. 
And you. And. Probably should be on planting at first, but whatever. It's gonna break, it's gonna break one way or another. That and that. And now for the final piece of the puzzle the jack. Now we know it drives, because I've driven it. We know it steers. Now all we gotta do is see if it's actually gonna stand up on its own. So I'm not even gonna bother driving it. I'm just gonna hop in and see what we can do. So I'm gonna turn that on. Okay, it pulls are running. I saw movement, so that's actually a good sign. Now, are you gonna lift up? Something is stuck. Something is not turning. What is clipping? I have a feeling it's that. Alright, let's lower it back down. I think those conveyors stuck somehow. So, let's just take them up. And then I can place them in afterwards. Once I have it up in the air. Hang on. I think it's the actual block. Uh, slightly thirsty. Well, that's no problem. Okay, and that was it. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get to happen. But now it's... Needs more lift underneath. But that won't happen. Hmm. Yeah, the problem is they got so much weight in the back. What is going on back there? <laughs> Let's break the game, shall we? What happens when I adjust the suspension with all this weight on it? Like, why is it doing this? I should have put a stop underneath. I was thinking about that. Maybe... I didn't even save it. Hmm. Oh, let's turn it off, see what happens. Oh, it definitely transforms all right. I broke it. Why did it do this? Because I should have to stop underneath. Let me see if I can refix this. Okay, let's try this one last time, and this will... Definitely be it, because I don't think we're going to be able to get too much more progress done today. I don't think. But anyways, I put a stop down here to stop this from dropping down like so. And then I put it back up top here. But what it is, it went up and over and it went back down. Tried to avoid that entire area there. So hopefully, 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 we have no issues. I actually forgot to wire this up. And that is done. Alright, now we can... Release the beast. Actually, we haven't seen any beast on this thing. This thing's a, this thing's a pussy cat. That train caused me more problems, but yeah, we took care of that problem, didn't we? Okay, there's that one, and then that one, and then that, and that's not gonna drop because I got that one down there, and I actually missed a block. Put that away, and... Doing better, so now you can see it's not going to drop down because it's being supported here and there. Uh, it will still have the upwards movement, but that doesn't matter. What matters is vertical lift. Let's go ahead and change that. And that. Get a little more support. Oh, we need fuel too. Okay. We are good to go. Turn you on. Hop in. Actually, no. Yes.
was it true if I implanted it or not? So now the question is it's just not quite enough. Now what the qu now the real question is what's it gonna take? Let's let's go for it. Oh. I'm gonna be I'm gonna have a kidney failure in a minute if I keep drinking all this water. Uh, hmm. I don't want to have it too close to the wheel. We're going to have to go up. Yes, I'm putting two more air blades on. Just because. There's that one. And. And what I should do. Lower it down. So it doesn't take off on me. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, uh, yeah, let me get those two air blades on. We'll try it one more time. Alright, there we go. It's starting to look more like one of my builds now. So let's see what this does. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want you flying. Okay, definitely too much lift. So what I'm going to do, for the time being, let's go ahead and... Turn that one off and that one off. And then still sticking somewhere. Don't know where. I think it might be this thing again. Somehow it's catching. That was probably it right there. And now it doesn't want to lift. Okay, and four was too, five was too much, so we'll turn this one off and turn these two back on. It's called fine tuning or messing around with the controls until something works. Okay, hang on. Let's see if we can find out where it's actually sticking. Alright, let's let's climb underneath this bad boy, see what's going on here. And I have a feeling it's that conveyor. So we might have to put it on afterwards once it's up in the air like this. Be careful. I haven't died today. I think that's because I got the lift in the front. I think that's what's doing it. Because it wants to lift the front end up instead of lift it up here. Alright, only one thing left to do. Uh, see if we can shut this off. No, oh, I can do it from here. Don't hurt me. Alright, we're gonna have to place another air blade up here. That's not an air blade. And just because. Alright. Oh. I need Z power. So, like. Alright, now I'll turn it on and step back. See, again, doesn't want to. Doesn't want to move the way it wants. I want it to move. Maybe if I jump on it. Let's get rid of that one last conveyor. That is very odd. Uh, let's one last thing here before we go.
I turn that on. <laughs> that was weird. I turned it on and it dropped. Oh, almost wants to do it. Yeah, something's definitely stuck somewhere. Slow this down, take one last final look. So something is stopping it from wanting to lift up. And it's raining, so I can't actually see what's causing it. It'll drop down, but it doesn't want to come back up. The only thing that would be stopping it is if my spacing on these was off. Two in between. And... Where is it? Two in between. Yeah, I'm thinking I need to be lifting here. Okay, I want to make sure I'm taking out the right block here. Uh, yeah, so... I guess we'll... No, that's not going to work. Uh, honestly, I think this idea I'm going to have to just put to rest because... It's clearly not working the way I want it to, the way I'd like it to. I know I'm asking a lot out of it. And to be quite honest, uh, the weight in the back here should be at least three times that because I'm lifting... Yeah, I'm lifting the same amount of weight, but I'm sort of cantilevering it, even though I'm lifting right off the weight. And I think that's part of the problem. The other problem is, is these things suck. Totally suck, but... You got the idea of what I was trying, and uh, it didn't work, but it doesn't mean that I'm going to give up. But anyways, I'm going to call this one here. It's been a while, and I got to get, I want to get this up and uploaded for you guys. But anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me a like, and I'll see you next time. Later.